welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration channel. My name's Barry for those of you who are new to the channel. Today we're going to be putting a two plate clutch back on here, on the engine here. Um, I'm not going to adjust the clutch for travel, I cannot because I've got nothing, as you see, I've got nothing on the back of it. Um, but I will be doing the adjustments later on, I'll show you them when I come to get them done. Um, when we get the gearbox on and the clutch throw bearing and everything back in place so that we can operate the clutch with the shafts in place to get everything just to relax and find its own natural position. Um, so let's crack on and get it so done. So back in my garage this morning, we're going to fit the clutch today. We're not going to adjust it today. We're just going to fit the two plates, get them lined up, get it all buttoned up, tightened up. Um, we will be adjusting the plates later on once I get the gearbox casing in place, the support snout and the shafts back in so that we can make sure everything's centralised and the way it should be in, in operational mode. So we're going to do that today. So let's have a look at what we've got. So we'll strip our pressure plate back off. There it is there on the floor. We've given the pressure plate a wipe down with some scotch bright. Um, we've degreased it with some thinners. We've degreased the flywheel, giving that a wipe as well. We've got the intermediate plate here. That's had a wire wheel and a degrease. We've got our carden shaft, our input shaft, and my two friction plates, and all our, all our bolts and washers. So. We're going to put this all together. Where's our little bag? We've got a little bag here with three springs in, which are the release plates for that intermediate plate so they can go in. So we're going to get set up and we'll show you what's going on here with this clutch. Yeah? So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to pop in our three little springs. These have had wire brush had a very, what I did was put some oil on my fingers, rubbed it on the springs to stop them corroding again. I'm going to pop them into the holes. Now, this might take a bit of fiddling to get this in together. New clutch plate. The boss goes in. That goes in that way towards the middle. So it sits in the recess in there. Ooh. Next thing is the intermediate plate. You can see it. Bouncing on the springs. This has been degreased. Okay. Now, next thing is the big clutch. Now, I just want to grab a minute. I want to grab the old plate for a minute. Back in a minute. This is why. This is why I say never throw anything away till you're finished. On here, it's got written flywheel side. On the new plate, it hasn't got anything written. So just looking at the shape of that boss there, see how it's two-stage boss. It's got a turn damper there, or it's cast diameter, and it's got like a lower, it's got a tapered diameter towards the top. That one, it's got a turn diameter on it. The This side, flywheel side, is the one with the radius casting there. Now, if we look at this, that one's not turned and it's not radius, it's reduced on the taper. That one looks very similar to the flywheel side. So I'm going to put that in that way with that in towards the flywheel this is going to be good this and uh, keeping this in place right 
it does say it in the manual. If you're doing this and you're using the shafts as a guide to put the whole thing in already mounted on the shafts, not like this. So we'll probably find out why it says that, won't we? In a second, when we try and lift all this into position. Right, let's have a look. Get this ready. Okay. Tell you what we'll do. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put right. What I've done, you'll see it when I lift it up. I've put in the gearbox input shaft through the pressure plate. And I put the friction plate on the end of it, so it should lift up straight onto the dowels in a one eye. Yeah, God, it's heavy. Right, let's get a bolt into the bottom of here, and a bolt into the top. Okay. God, it's getting dirty. How dare it. Okay. Just gonna put a couple more bolts in here by hand, but I'm not gonna put any tension on them at the minute because the inner plate, the PTO plate, is not lined up yet. Now, In a couple of previous videos, I've been talking about the PTO brake and how this piece here is where the PTO brake works. There's a strap comes across with some friction material on. Well, I found out today it's not a PTO brake at all, is it? What it is, it's a gearbox brake because this is to stop your gearbox from rotating so you can change gears without taking the edges off your gears. So that's what that is. Right. Next thing, carden shaft. We're going to insert the carden shaft into here, straight through, into the inner plate, into the pilot bearing. There we go, right. I'm gonna hold this shaft because I don't want all this pressure. There's a bearing here in the clutch. There's a bearing here in the flywheel. But that's an awful length of metal to be hanging on that. So, single-handedly, we're gonna start and tension down the pressure plate. We'll whiz around. We'll get these brought into contact. Because at the minute they're not. Some of them are, some of them aren't. We'll get this into contact. Enough to hold the plates in position. Then we can at least pull the carbon shaft out, which is the long one. Right, a quick whiz. What I'd like to see is the fingers start to release and then you know 
the pressure is on the plates and it's starting to come back through the diaphragm. There's one off. There's two off. This one's earlier there. There we go, three off. These, this didn't have transport bolts in it. So all I did was I got M10 nuts and I stuck them under the fingers in there. Right. Oh, <coughs> oh dear. Now we just went back to check that and it looks like something's moved. No it hasn't there, it's gone in. Okay, so withdraw that. Withdraw that. Right, the torque setting on these is 23 to 30 foot-pounds. The adjustment nuts here are nuts with socket group screws inside. When this is in position, you can insert a feeler gauge in here into the plates and there's a gap in there that you measure between 40 and 70 thou. That's what you set it up to be. That's for clutch back in. Yep, that one goes in nicely. Right, that one goes in as well. Just the job. Okay. So I say, I'm not going to adjust this up until I've got the gearbox case in place with the release shaft, the clutch shaft in place and the bearing onto here so we can put the two shafts back in and gauge them fully into the splines and into the pilot bearing and then operate the lever to release the clutch plates, let them all find their own natural position put them back under pressure and then we will set the release for the PTO plate. As I say, the big thing I learned today was this is not for the PTO brake, it's for a gearbox brake. It's to stop the gearbox spinning so you can change gear without taking the edges off your gears. Okay. Right, let's get wrapped up. Sort it out and we'll get my gear back in because I think it's going to rain.
Right, well that's it for this little short video. As I say, we'll just whip the clutch on, get everything buttoned up. Um, hopefully we can see from that, you never throw anything away till you've got all your replacement parts and they're in place and it fits and it's working. Because like the new clutch came there, didn't have on it flywheel side, pressure plate side. So you then just got to go back and look at your old things to see if there's anything on them. If there's nothing on them, you got to go on back through your videos or your photographs, haven't you? And find out what you've done or how they came to bits. But when I took this to bits, I wasn't doing videos. I took some still pictures, but not of the clutch coming off. So, as I say, never throw anything away till it's done, right? Okay, right, well, thank you very much for visiting. Um, through the week, we are going to look at probably putting the gearbox casing on, putting the throughout shafts in and the bearings in, um, and we'll see about getting some adjustments done. But I will fill in the adjustments on how we're going to do it um, and let you know. All right, um, we're up to... We broke the 300 barrier at the weekend, or up to 301, I think, as of this moment. Um, we're doing really well. It is growing steadily. Love it. Keep it up. Keep watching. However, there's only 16.25% of you people that's viewing this that are subscribed. Please subscribe. You will be notified when the next video comes out, so you're not searching around for bits and pieces for it. Um, it costs you nothing, but it helps us tremendously to grow the channel and make it stronger. Thank you very much for visiting. Have a nice week. I'll see you in the next video. Put the gearbox on. Remember, don't overthink it. It's just nuts and bolts. Catch you the next time. Bye now.